Hello again, many thanks for keeping us company. We uh, will be beginning with a, a program uh, quite differently. Uh, I'm having two amazing ladies who are doing amazing thing out here, Bridget and Anne. We want to talk about the Club Food Society. They are helping us to know uh, what is this condition that is out here and how can we help people going through the same problem. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want you, Bridget, to tell me about Club Society and what it is all about. Okay. Club Food Society, we really formed last year and we launched the first year in Kenya on 3rd June 2019 okay. worldwide. Okay, I, I personally, I have Club Fit. It's called bilateral. It, is, it has affected the legs. Okay. So we met with Anne Oyo in social media and we had the same problem. Okay. And we sat together and we started like we need to start a society to assist the people living with club food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, or you, when, when, you, when you met Bridget, <laughs> I, I'm supposing you, people you met because of this one particular item. How, how has the relationship been for the last, say, one year? And uh, what has, has been the challenges in, in this uh, society? Um, we haven't had quite a challenge because now is when we are trying to realize what's it, why is it this way, what's, how is the best foot forward. Mm -hmm. But the reason as to why we met was basically because of pain. Um, this condition, especially during the cold season, there is a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. You experience muscle cramps, foot pain, foot stiffness. So in point in time when I met her, I was looking for medication for my feet. Mm -hmm. Because one morning I woke up and my feet were so stiff. So I was like, am I the only one living with this thing? Because on the streets you walk, you know, you wouldn't identify that this person has this condition or... Mm -hmm. Because it's generally lumped up as a physical disability. There is no distinction that this is club food or this is what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically we met because of pain. So far, so good. The journey has been good. We have met a number of people through that. We have met a number of adults, and more especially the adults, mm -hmm. because the children, you find it's correctable. Okay. Yeah. But the adults, once you have, like, the bones have matured, then you just have to deal with the day-to-day -day cope. Mm -hmm. Then that brings me to the question, how does does it come about? Is this something that you're born with or you may develop uh, late in life? No, you are born with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mostly, like, we, we haven't known the cause of it, but people say maybe due to less amniotic fluid or inheritance, but mm -hmm. we don't have the real, what, the cause of it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, so it uh, has uh, still remained to be a mystery to many. So in this case, if it is not known how it occurs, then how do you go about it? Is there a particular treatment? Yes, like uh, Anne said that uh, from one to five years, it can be corrected. Mm -hmm. Yes, when it is early identified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get quite the, 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 the name of the condition quite well and we'll be seeing some of the uh, uh, pictures to see uh, how the condition is and uh, maybe now from then you can tell how big the problem is. Now, and when someone has this condition, you talked about the cold, uh, when it's cold you feel a lot of pain. Do you, is it the medicines you go for or there's some therapy you undergo? Basically stipulated, you're supposed to have physiotherapy as an adult with this condition. But as you know, physio is very expensive yeah. in our country. Mm -hmm. So then you try to manage. It's either a painkiller or a heat rub. So during the cold season, it's like a tug of war. You don't know what to do because it's like everything is collapsing down there. Mm -hmm. So. At point in time we are doing club food, we want to share each one's experience and know how you managing as an adult, what are you doing to manage the pain, mm -hmm. what's your experience with pain, how can we do it better, is there a way we need to sit down and lobby for some of these things, 
like the medication of painkillers or maybe lobby for low physio costs. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you find the adults, we are quite a number and we do not know now how to deal with this condition because we are adults, we've grown up. Right. Yeah. So because of maybe either stigma, shame, or you just keep some of these things to yourself. Mm -hmm. So for like me and Bridget, we just want people to open up. Like yeah. for me, it's uh, mine isn't quite so severe because I can wear normal shoes. But you see, when I go to a shoe shop to buy a shoe, mm -hmm. the a shoe attendant will look at me very mysteriously <laughs> because you know I walk like a duck. <laughs> Mm. I'll show my walking in a shoe <laughs> where I walk like a duck. So then you know when you're going to a shoe shop to like fit in a shoe, they're busy looking at your leg and they're trying to wonder, hey, you wear my shoe and then it will fold because already what you're wearing is already folded, yeah? Mm. So then for us, we want to reduce that stigma. We want people to come out. And then we also want to lobby for government to lower the cost of boots. Boots, mm -hmm. boots are quite expensive. The one Bridget is wearing, it's a pair goes for 7,000. Wow. My own are already spoiled, so then I have to deal with wearing just the normal shoes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it seems to be quite a problem, especially with the stigma. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I saw when uh, she was trying to say it, I don't know, because your friends, uh, you are <laughs> smiling, so I, I don't know, someone out there, if, <laughs> If I get the same story and then I smile, how would you feel about it? And uh, how has been, how have you dealt with the, with the stigma from the people socially? How do you, uh, how do people handle you? And how do you take it? Okay, personally, okay. Before I used to like uh, when I'm walking on the street and then people stare at me. I used to feel that, like, oh, mm -hmm. they're really staring me. It's like I'm a less human. Mm -hmm. So it's reached a point where I had to accept myself. You know, you need to talk to yourself. Right. You are created this way. Mm -hmm. You can't change your legs. True. So when we met with Anne or you, she's this, she has that spirit like mine. So even we make fun of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And some people, they can't. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess the way I was brought up, like my family, they have shown me love. So I feel like I'm okay. I am a human being. I cannot change the situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I need my future is I need to search forward. Yeah. And what would be your message to some people out there who have a certain disability and they can't accept it? They are just holding back. They can't come out here clearly and say this is me. They accept themselves. How 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 do someone now get to this point of saying this is me? I accept it and doesn't matter what you say or what you see. I think, you know, it's not easy. Someone must talk to them. Like, someone like me who have overcome the situation, mm -hmm. I need to talk to them to tell them, this is how we are created. We can't change the situation. Accept yourself and move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because so if you have that fitness on you, you can go on. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Anne, tell me about the Club Food Society the funds you're looking for and how it has been working and by the way how much people have you how many people have you reached out to so far and how has been the reception in terms of how you tell them the, do you have special programs do you have ways on of uh, uh, uh interacting with them or we just meet at, at certain day and then it's over we will meet again okay so far we have reached at least we have in the society we have 300 members registered so for our outreach programs, we go specifically to counties. Mm -hmm. So we've done Kapsabek, so far so good. Now we want to move to another county, most probably Kakamega. Mm -hmm. So our outreach basically is we try to find these people where they are, mm -hmm. and more especially the adults, not the children, because the children, there is a way that this condition can be corrected if detected early. Sure. So these adults, we try to reach out to them, find out what they're doing, see the kind of shoes they're wearing, and then try to like get them to have the correct shoes. Mm -hmm. So for our Kapsabet outreach, we had about 30 members whom we are going to fit in with shoes this year mm -hmm. before we proceed to Kakameka. Okay, so your yes. next county is Kakamega. Yes. Our next county is Kakamega. Uh -huh. So, 
basically it's just to fit them with shoes the proper shoes about the psychological or the psychosocial basically bridget said it's you to work on it yes okay there is the way society defines us yeah. and then there is the way you define yourself mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of self acceptance talking to yourself every other day every other day every other day Mm. People should not see it like it's a punishment from God. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. There is always that idea that God cannot give you everything. But God has given you everything. Mm -hmm. Whether it's good or bad, it's you not. Whether really it's good or it. bad, you have to make the best out of it. Mm -hmm. So it's just you to talk yourself, talk yourself, talk yourself. Yes, we do have those up and downs, those mm. Down moments, but it's just a matter of speaking to yourself, encouraging yourself. Because if you're not there for yourself, then there'll be nobody there for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so then you fall into depression. So when you, you when you're going to these counties, especially now that you have mentioned uh, a bit now, how do you create awareness? Okay. How do you make these people now come together? We use the National Councils for Persons with Disability. We use church. We use mm -hmm. the media, new community Good around. Point. Yeah. So like for Capsabet Church assisted National Council with Persons with Disability and the community around to gather these people so that we identify them. Yeah. So then once we found them, then we like registered them, we saw the problems they have. But you see, it's not only about a shoe, it's not only about a psychosocial issue, it's a whole general issue. Yeah. But for us, we want to first deal with the comfort that at least you have something for mobility. Mm -hmm. yeah. You no, know, like someone who's running on a track, they can't run without. Mm -hmm. So it's the same for us. Without those shoes, you are not comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So Bridget, I've heard and so much talk about the co the children are can be corrected. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, allow me to ask this: mm -hmm. if at, if at childhood someone would have been corrected, then how do we find ourselves here? Is it our our parents who? didn't notice or it's something that just came up? Okay, like I've come to realize that most people with club food, mo you, you can identify your child at early age, mm -hmm. but after that maybe uh, some parents hide their kids so they can't get the information. Oh, okay. Or people are like, um, like thinking that club food is a polio, of which it is not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at that age after maybe after five years mm -hmm. the child need to have a surgical boot it's called surgical boots yes and oh okay so maybe we can say maybe because of uh, fear and shame yes. or a lack of yes. funds would be a contributor to why someone Look now would get to corrected, yeah. all right so yeah. what information are you sending out there to mothers who are hiding their children or if anything happens what um mitigation measures now do you have? Okay, I'm talking to a parent who has a child living with disability that don't hide your children. Mm -hmm. Just sh let them do their own duties. Or their we are talented. Bring them out and don't be ashamed of your child. Mm -hmm. The society can assist you. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't be ashamed. Because I believe that people living with disability are a blessing to, our, to their families. True, yeah, yeah. true, true. Now, um, and you have a fundraising coming soon to help uh, fund some persons with shoes. Now that you're going to, you said Kakamega? Yes. So is it uh, that you want to take uh, shoes there or you have some persons you have identified so far you want to? Okay, so Kakamega we have about 50, which is quite a larger number from mm -hmm. Kapsama. Mm -hmm. So we started a 100 bob challenge campaign in November to actually boost whatever funds we have because currently we are not funded by anyone. We do most of the things from our own pockets. Mm -hmm. Even as we go to give the shoes for, for Capsabet, that is like we did our own self-funding, self-fundraising amongst us. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the dinner, we are having a barefoot dinner. We rarely take mm -hmm. photos of our feet. Yeah. When was the last time you took a photo of your feet, <laughs> barefooted? Uh, as a man, I don't remember me doing <laughs> such. Yes. yes. But for ladies, I know I've seen several <laughs> because of the names. But anyway, yeah, we don't. Yes, we rarely do photos of our own feet. Mm -hmm. 
So this year we decided we'd have a barefoot dinner and we'd have a barefoot walk or a marathon. So we're starting with a barefoot dinner. Mm -hmm. So for the barefoot dinner we want people to come barefooted yes. for Valentine's. Mm -hmm. So Valentine's is the time that people show their love, love yeah. to mm -hmm. the other person. Right. At this time around us we want you to show your love mm -hmm. to the feet because the feet are the ones that enable you to move around. Oh, the true. feet Very are the true. ones that make you drive that yes. car. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the feet generally controls, let's say, 95% functionality of the body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. For the mobility. Yes. yes. And more especially the mobility. How thoughtful. I yes. love the analogy. <laughs> <laughs> so then oh. this dinner will be a barefoot dinner. We want everybody to come. So the funds that we'll raise will go to enabling adults with club food to get boots, boots. Mm -hmm. Kakamega, and the then the side. other two, three counties that we have identified, which we're still receiving numbers. Mm -hmm. So yes, we want people to come barefooted on Valentine's and have their photos taken of their feet. Wow, that must be amazing to see people walking barefoot. Kama kwa nyumba tunashindwa kukaa. <laughs> and some of us grew up in the villages. You know, Hilary, mm -hmm. come to think, like me, I can like people living with clubfoot. If you remove my shoes, I can't walk. Yeah, oh, I'm done. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. So what? So will be, how, analogy, how will it be then? The analogy is mm -hmm. the able to come barefooted. Yes. So those who have disability, like clubfoot, who come in shoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the essence No, no, it's now time to see yes, you. Yes, it's time now yeah. to see you without oh, shoes. okay. Because as we've always not had the proper shoes, so yes. now it's your time. Mm -hmm. Walk without shoes and feel how I feel minus the proper shoes. Oh. Yes. yes. Wow. Uh, so where will we be? The dinner is at Bomai Hotel, Hotel in South Sea. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. So the details... Come. Mm -hmm. So we'll be sharing these posters. I, I see per couple is 7,500. Yes. And then the other one is per Single person. Is Single is 4,000. 4, yes. Hmm. Manageable to yeah. a number of Kenyans. Yes. Here to the Kosa Kwenda. Karibuni we, sana. Uh, asante. You now, is, see you there, barefooted. <laughs> <laughs> it's on 14th. Yes. All right, let me not promise when I promise I keep my word. So let me not commit myself here. But anyway, I, I appreciate what you people are doing and it's quite encouraging. And now that you have mentioned of Kapsabit Kakamega, do you have a certain region that has, we can say we have big number and would you know why it is, uh, what you can attribute it to? Okay. We don't have like you know statistics like the way we have statistics for malaria, statistics mm -hmm. for HIV, and that. Mm -hmm. So for us, we started club food so that we have these statistics. And even when we go to government and lobby for them to reduce the cost of the boot, then we will have statistics. Mm -hmm. So this year, next year, and maybe let's say for the next three years, we'll be doing that data collection. Then once we have that data, it's sound enough. Then we can now lobby government and tell them hey, you guys, look here, we are 1 million, so we need this cost to go down. We need you to put for us a factory where this work is specially dedicated. Because mm -hmm. you find even that would for me to get it, it will take a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that means I'm immobile for a whole month. Mm -hmm. It's not even a month. It, it <laughs> takes even three months, <laughs> three months. Uh, yeah. yes, to get the next issues. I, I, I almost asked that question because yeah. if you, you have mentioned the government, the government, I thought we can have a local fundi and how much would they go for if do we have a specific person who can and how do they design? Hilary, you know these shoes cannot be made by a local fundi the when you see there on the road. Mm -hmm. It needs a specialist. Right. Yes. Some like they need to take even a cast like the shape of my feet. Mm -hmm. So kila mutu atatua your shape. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we need like they need people. orthopedic? It's an orthopedic technician, it's technician who does this. Mm -hmm. yes. So there is a cast that is done, and then with that cast, they should be able to make me a boot. Yes. All right. But then you find the cast leaves some space. So now we are trying a wood last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the photo of a wood, wood last. last. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, um, I was hoping we could have that. 
I don't know whether my director will know we want our good last kiatu ya mbao ikwanzo pichezi kwa hapo. Then they will they will, they will, they will, they will expense. So that's, that's, yes. that's the measurement for the wood good last uh -huh. that we were doing uh -huh. yeah. for the gentleman. So that wood last should yes. actually now produce one sh side of my foot uh -huh. and then the other one. So you find both our feet, it's my feet, and her feet cannot the, be the, the same. same. Yes. Cannot be the same. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then it has to be done separate, separate, separate for each and every other person. Then you find also my left leg is not the same as my right leg. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So the, here is where now you, you would like the government to come in to aid and seriously to enable a number of people. At least I think uh, the society is in need to know this and uh, I'm happy you're creating awareness to such issues because I know of a people who don't like Kata Wengine when you're a wheelchair, they would not want to be associated with uh, create awareness. I don't know why people fear. But you people, you're doing amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Bridget. And 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 I wish you the very best. And to see you say dinner, to say dinner. Exactly. Yes. Na kama uta kuzwa tu ma pesa, m pesa. Baby bill seventy one thirty two sixty four. Seventy one thirty two seventy four. No, seventy one thirty two sixty four. All right. Pay your tutaika social media watu nyota to say dinner, to say Otherwise, thank you so much for coming, and we appreciate the good work you're doing to this society. Thank and you. keep those smiles. No one would know what is going on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> until they inquire. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you so much. Back home, thank you so much for keeping us company. Keep it right, 254. My name is Dereva Hilary. See you in a bit.